Hey there, folks. Luke here with the Outdoor Grip Review. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode. Now, for this episode, this is my favorite gear. Yes, this is one of my favorite tents, and this is the Golight Shangri-La 3 tent. I will go ahead and set this up and begin going over some of the features and what I like the best about it. Let's get started. Now, folks, with this tent here, it is not the lightest tent out there, but it is incredibly easy to set up. It is a four season tent. You could also use it into the third season. It could also be very lightweight at the same time. I know that's interesting because I just talked about how it's not the lightest. And I will get to that in just a little bit. This is the fly right here. This is the one pole and we have some tent stakes. This is the bug inner. This is the one pole that is used for this tent. You can also use a trekking pole. It is adjustable, expandable. So as you can see there, it can get much bigger. It can also be shorter. This tent has one door. Right here at the top, this is reinforced. Now it's time for the fly. So folks, right here it is. This is the Go Light Shangri-La 3. Very, very easy to set up. As I mentioned before, this is a four season tent. You can use this in the fourth season. You can also use this in the summertime. The inner, you don't have to use it. So in the wintertime, you can drop that weight by discarding that and putting it away. When it comes to the materials, let's go ahead and touch upon these real quick. The fly is a polyurethane coated nylon and the inner features a eight inch bathtub floor, which is waterproof. The zippers are YKK. All of the seams are taped, 100% waterproof. This is a TP style tent, which is known for being very, very strong. It is also greatly appreciated because of the slope of the walls are great for snow. So folks, right here is the entrance to the tent. You have this cover which goes over the zippers. It has Velcro to keep that into place. You also have a snap down here at the bottom which reinforces the zipper because this tent is made to handle very strong winds. And when you have strong winds like that, you need to make sure that this thing is really hunkered down because all the force will be placed on this zipper. So this clasp right here keeps it nice and together and tight and strong. It prevents flapping of the material. You have a YKK zipper as mentioned. Up here at the top, you have three vents for nice ventilation. Of course, you could roll back the door. Now, if you were using this tent without the bug mesh, without the inner, you could just go inside, do whatever you gotta do. But in this case, we set it up with the bug mesh, as you can see here. Two-way zippers, again, YKK. Very good quality. And then you have access to the tent, which is absolutely humongous. This is a three person tent. Now the downfall is that you have a pole here in the middle. So if both of you are somewhat short, you can scoot on one side and be close. Otherwise, one person will have to basically sleep on one side of the pole and the other person on the other side. For three people, it can get cramped, but two people, their dog, all their gear, plenty of room. As you can see here, the pole, it's reinforced up here at the top. It's also reinforced down here at the bottom. Check this out. <laughs> hey buddy. Come on. So check him out. He's telling us how bad the winter is going to be. It's going to start off cold and snowy, then it's going to warm up some, and then it's going to end cold and snowy. Now just in case you're wondering, that is a woolly worm, and they forecast the weather around here. So I now know what is going to happen this winter. Anyways, this is the Golight Shangri-La 3 tent, as you see here. Now, as I mentioned, it's not ultra lightweight by any means. In fact, it is a little bit heavy if you carry the entire system. The 15 denier nylon rain fly by itself is 25.7 ounces, which is not very heavy. But when you add in the stakes and the inner, the weight goes up and it goes up to roughly four pounds, nine ounces. So yes, that is a heavy shelter. Now for myself, I don't mind carrying the weight because this is such a great shelter. You could set this thing up in no time at all. Even in strong winds, it's not that difficult. It's also very easy to break this down. I've broken it down in the middle of snowstorms, windstorms, freezing rainstorms. 
it's really, really awesome. You know, there's been times where, I, right on the edge of like fall into winter, I'll go out with these like freezing rainstorms where you still need the bug mesh, <laughs> but yet I, like at nighttime, it turns to freezing rain. And it is very easy to break everything down from the inside out. It's a huge plus. It really is a nice feature. This tent did come with six aluminum stakes, all included. You guys saw the stuff sack at the beginning. That weighs 1.2 ounces, so it adds a little bit of weight. So as I mentioned before, you know, you can use this in all seasons. You can get rid of the floor if you don't need it. You can go just with the fly. That's great. Also, talking about strong winds and snow and all that good stuff, there are plenty of tie-off points on this shelter here, so you can really pull this thing tight. You can make it very rigid if you need to. Also, the walls for this shelter are very steep, so the snow slides right on down. Now, folks, when I bought this tent brand new, it cost me $300, and I got it from the GoLight website. Now, if you guys are familiar with GoLight, you know that the company went under. It went bankrupt many years ago. But with that being said, the company has returned, and it is recalled MyTrail Co., and that does stand for company. You can find their new version of this tent for roughly $300. Now, you may be wondering, how is the Pyramid 3 different than this one right here? Based upon looks alone, I don't see any difference at all. Now, if you guys are interested, I will get one of those in so we can test it out and we can take a look at it and see how it is different. But based upon the looks of the tent, they look to be identical. Basically, they used the same design, but changed the name. When it comes to negatives, well, we already talked about the weight. This thing can be heavy for a complete system, especially for one person. But I tell you what, it's a palace for one person, especially a guy, a gal, and their dog. Man, that's awesome. I really do like this shelter, but the tent stakes are very short. They're not, they're, they're good. They will work. They're, they, they could be longer. I would recommend longer tent stakes. You could also get titanium tent stakes which will work just as good, but save you some ounces. So yeah, I mean, that's a very slight con, but it, it is worth mentioning that the tent stakes, they're very short. So depending on the type of soil that you're putting those stakes into, hmm, you may want to use a stick or your own stakes. You know, other than that, there's not a whole lot to complain about here. The bathtub floor, the fly. I mean, it really is just a terrific system. The pole in the middle here is, it's not the lightest pole ever, you know, but, it really does work well. It's very, very strong. I've heard of people going out and having specialty poles made, like out of carbon fiber, uh, but you're talking about a lot of money. So yeah, to me, it's just not that big a deal. That pole right there comes in at 11.3 ounces. So yeah, you could replace it with something lighter if you want to. An additional con for this tent is that it is huge. This is a very big tent. It will take up a lot of space. So that may not work on every adventure that you go on. Now, one cool thing is, is that you don't have to stake this thing out to its full size. You can cut this thing essentially in half by pulling it different ways and staking it out. That is also a huge plus. This really is just a cool tent. It's a cool product. I've enjoyed using it for many years now. So my friends, those are a few reasons why I like this tent so much. This is one of my favorite pieces of gear. You know, people ask me all the time, hey Luke, what's your favorite piece of kit? Your favorite tent, so on. And most people are shocked to find out that it's not like the lightest weight gear. It's not the most expensive. I really go after the pieces that are really the most functional. A tent doesn't have to cost you a thousand bucks to be a great tent. Even a four season tent doesn't have to cost you thousand dollars. It could be as simple as a three hundred dollar tent that you use all year long. It really is that simple. Again, if you are interested in one of these tents, the only option that you have is from My Trail Co. The link will be put down in the description box for you if you guys are interested. You guys can check out their website. Now, like I said before, if you guys are interested in taking a look at the My Trail Company Pyramid 3 to see how it's different than this one right here, go ahead, just drop me a line, let me know. I'll see what I can work out. Overall, folks, this is an amazing shelter. This thing right here has seen blizzards. It's seen thunderstorms, freezing rain. I mean, this thing has seen so much freezing rain, in fact. I mean, there have been times where the entire thing was like a sheet of ice. Very, very cool. But uh, yeah, it's just a really, really good performer. It's huge. It's great, like I said, for you, your girlfriend, your buddy, your dog. I love it. If you guys have any questions for me, you know what to do. Until next time, take care, strength, and honor.